So The Double, which is the new film by Richard Ayoade, who came on the show to talk about Submarine, is a very sort of, you know, deadpan uh, uh, presence and a very deadpan director. So this is essentially, um, it's inspired by Dostoevsky. The story is Jesse Eisenberg plays a schlubby guy, working uh, sort of office clerk, whose world is turned upside down by the appearance of a doppelganger who appears to be the mirror image of him. He looks exactly the same. His name is the mirror image of his. It's Simon James James Simon. And yet the doppelganger is all the things which he isn't, outgoing, gregarious, successful, and, you know, on the up. And the more successful the doppelganger becomes, the more unsuccessful, the more insignificant, the more, the more basically non-existent he becomes. Here's a clip with him and Chris Morris, a little sort of fraction of the, of the paranoia that underlies the double. You don't exist anymore. Excuse me? You're no longer in the system. Well, just put me back in the system. I can't put you back in the system. Why? Because you don't exist. I can't put someone who doesn't exist in the system. But I used to be in the system. Not according to the system. In fact, according to the system, you've never existed. How reliable is the system? A, it's completely reliable. Yes, but I used to exist. I, I do exist. I'm standing in this room, aren't I? And? So how do I get back in the system? You need a card. Right. So can I please get a new card? No. Why? Because you're not in the system. So, is, well, so that's it? That's it. I'll leave you to make your own arrangements. Interesting thing about the film, it played at the London Film Festival in November last year and got, you know, pretty good uh, reviews. Um, one of the things was I, I, I interviewed Richard Ayoade about it and he was, you know, he's very intelligent. It's a very interesting piece of work. Um, it owes a great debt to films like Brazil and Eraserhead. Apparently he's not crazy about those films being brought up, but the film really does clearly both visually and in terms of its soundscape does owe a debt to it. Jesse Eisenberg is terrific at playing the two separate characters, basically the, the same character, but two separate sides of it. It's not massively original, but what it is, is it takes riffs and licks that you are with which you are kind of familiar and uses them in a way which is constructive and creative and does create this sense of absurdist paranoia in a very effective way. Stuart Barr uh, on this uh, email, I, I caught the double at last year's London Film Festival yeah. and I'm quite bemused at the positive reviews. I thought it was cheap and second-hand, like finding a faded VHS copy of Brazil in a Sue right, Rider yeah. shop in South End. Well, the Brazil, I mean, certainly the visuals are all Brazil, that kind of, you know, Orwellian... Uh, that idea of that, you know, that institutionalising, which Gilliam did so brilliantly. In terms of the soundscapes, there is the sound of, you know, Alan Splett, his work with uh, David Lynch, Johnny Ray's head is definitely in there. I mean, it is like a film which which really wears its visual influences on its sleeve. And I asked Ayurveda Brown, they said, well, no, I wasn't particularly aiming for those things, but clearly they are there in the film. Now, I like both of those films, and I think if you're going to take your visual lead from anywhere, then, you know, take it from Terry Gilliam, take it from David Lynch.